Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Soma's real prey is Kawana, who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kawana had buried his true identity among a host of other secrets. And to unearth them, Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit hole. Yeah, that's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho, Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Yes, see you soon. They're coming. The cops are on their way. All right. She was murdered at the hands of Soma. Master. You lied when you said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now, can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? I think he's right. First, let's narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Let's consider her connections. We know one of them was to Kowanda the Handyman. Where that leads, is that Soma's gang was after Kawana, and that's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kawana. Yeah. Except Kawana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was... Kitakanta. Soma gave us that. Suspicious. Blood. Yeah. Hey, what the? There's one visible wound. Sure is. An ice pit. Hmm. Suspicious. Yagami, wouldn't there? Oh, weird. What do you want to do? If you can, gonna... there's none. I'm gonna hang on to it. It's now or never. I won't get. You're gonna take it? Of course not. Those but... shady Kurokawa. We're the only ones with that lead, right? Mm, good point. Uh... It's now or never. So, uh, why? I have. Isn't that exact? Why you gotta bring that up? Kazuki Soma. He's the leader. Yeah? Well, great. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for I- and we'll look into RK2, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. Well, does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? 
cause of death, a single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Nabe-san, the police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. At least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, ma'am, but pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that coup. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? I'm looking for those same answers myself. <sighs> so you know jack shit about anything important. But you can go on home. Just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul-mouthed as fuck. But not bad, Pops. <sighs> what now? Nabe-san. Aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, that. You saw the video. Your point? I think there may have In which case, why aren't you jumping? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> Everyone knows a heart it's above our pay grade. But bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it. Save the dirty looks for- Hell do you! Cool it, Sakurai. I know this is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa-sensei... Well... She got mixed up in some sort of... incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you, but... Please, do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to... Well... None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please, don't. All that I can ask, for now, spare a prayer for Sawa Sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose. But I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. No. Not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna get you involved. But... 
Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Nagami-san... <sighs> okay. Listen, you're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes, I can do that. Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Have a seat, if you would. In that detective's report, Saba-sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba-sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yagami-san. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet, either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa-sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa-sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK. It's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa-sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. But I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shibukun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa-sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface, all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yagami-san, if you would. Could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had her whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. No matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. You're a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. 
What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. Yagami-san, what do you want? You know, things have been really... First, they find Miko Shiba Sensei's... You the angel of death or something? I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. Everyone's so damn gloomy. It sucks. Sawasen, you won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Miko Shiva Sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you. Yeah. What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san, well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um, well, if you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you please keep us in the loop, too? Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody-two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa-sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Miko Shiba-sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my- Maybe seeing my work might put things- <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! So, about Akane, they got along great, chatted all the time. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now, she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brake. I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forget. The fact that you recognize you did some awful thing. I'm sorry, Coda. For everything we did to you. You can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. <sighs> Thanks.
Hey, welcome back, Tak. Good to see you, Yagamishi. The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa-sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine. We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa-sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa-sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa-sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah. Akatsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa-sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why would Sawa-sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana-san? Right. There's we need to find Kuwana before... Kuwana, RK didn't seem... Truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a hand... I haven't been able to contact Kuwana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from... Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep. Just looks like Kuwana lives in some kind of prefab sh Sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go- <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Tsukumo, what's- <laughs> Let's roll, talk. This Kiwanis place? Yeah, I think. Yes, it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. What is it? What is it? The door's been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been R.K. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. RK's got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think Kawan has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Ijin Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection to Sawa-sensei clearer. So you want to find clues that point to his true identity? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaito-san. What the? Cigarette. I don't think... 
But maybe he craved the real deal every now and then. Yeah, people do smoke both depending on the situation. Leftovers from a ramen cup. I'm starting to think this place was a dump even before. Uh huh. Mm. It looks like yep. Nothing. Hey. What the? An ashtray. What? With all the gross garbage in here. Think so. Accepted ha Okay. Maybe. Yo, hold up, Todd. We don't have enough on Kuwana to go after him. You sure you want to go back empty-handed? I feel like I checked everything worth looking at. Well, maybe there's more to something you looked at already. What the? These cigarettes. Kuwana, you... What are you... I don't think... Then why... See? USB memory stick. To Damn. Did you that has what matters is the date. Why don't we head back to? Oh, it got dark. Huh? What's the matter, Talk? Looks like a meet and greet. Oh yeah. Well, they're the only ones looking for Kuana other than us, right? Don't see Soma or Akutsu, though. Probably for the best. Yeah, me and Nick. Which one? There's no point. Uh huh. Where are Soma and Akatsu? We could are the ones who contact us. Yeah. I bet even thugs don't work gigs. That's true. Definitely. Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos. Then, who's the one pulling I don't know who it is. Which is? Catch Kuwana. Ark. Yeah. If we keep looking for- Then we'd bet- Uh, yeah, we are. And those gentlemen- Those guys. Ah, I see. Excuse <laughs> me, but- Sure. I mean, any time we were short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. We'd pay. Oh, I haven't heard. Called him back. What did Kuan? Hmm? Where can we Hold find the owner? And we better get over. Thanks for everything. Oh, don't. Let's hit it. Ha! 
Christ. Really, guys? Siren. Hello? Anybody here? This place empty, too? It's definitely messy in here, but it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with RK about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. What is it? Hey, uh, the name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Hi. You've reached Siren? <laughs> Soma, that was well played. How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. <laughs> Have I told you what RK stands for yet? It's red knife. You son of a Soma! The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Tell me. Why did you kill Sawa Sensei? <sighs> I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all? You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy.
Well, you're scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. Uh, 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 fuck. You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Give it a second. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa Sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Whoever that is has terrible timing. Hello? Is this the owner? Yes. Kuanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Guanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Sorry, but this'll have to wait. Can you get an ambulance over to your bar right away? My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry! Hello? Your partner is in good hands now. Just as you asked. I'm watching you as we speak. Oh, and don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? You'll find it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, Survive in the Entertainment District? Correct. See you soon. It better be. Apologies for the wait. Let's go.